إذا إذا الفلسطينيين استرجعوا كل فلسطين، شو بصير في الستة مليون يهودي؟ بتوزع حول العالم. They would be spread They would be spread to the rest of the countries or, or to, the, to other countries around the world. So they'd be thrown out. So يعني بينطردوا. طبعا. Of course. Okay. They can't stay. No, they can't stay. Why? Because it's our land. Even the ones who are born here. Of course, even the ones who were born here. Even the ones who were born here before 1948? No, the, those ones, no. They can't stay. Now, okay, let's say, let's say, pretend I'm Israeli, okay. and my grandmother was born here before in 1948. Can I stay? Yeah, you can stay. But that's most Israelis. No, no, not most Israelis born before 1948. Uh, no, many Israelis. Okay, but not the most. Maybe half a million in the... I have to know the point of the numbers, but okay. First of all, do you believe, let's start with this, do you believe in a one-state solution or a two-state solution? Okay, so I'll ask this. When there is Palestine, wait, when there is Palestine in 1948 Palestine, all of it, it's all Palestine, when, when that happens, one state, what happens to the Jews? Okay. You're gonna you're gonna throw me out? You're gonna throw me out? Really? Why? You are now Facebook friends. He he got his ass okay, but we're now Facebook friends. You're still gonna throw me out? He's a witness. He was walking and they caught him and asked him what he did to him. They started hitting him with his gun. Yeah. They hit him so hard. They took him to jail. They tortured him for real. Six months. And I'd even believe it when I saw I came from America, I haven't been here for a couple months. You know, and when I seen that in front of me, like what are you gonna have how are you gonna think of Jews and the Jewish army after that? After yeah, but he knows me now. We've sat here and talked for an hour. You still would throw me out? You guys took our land, and you guys killed us, and you guys burnt us. So you would throw, you would throw Roy out too? He, he said that uh, there were Jews before the 48. Like yeah. we let them in, we welcomed them, and everything, and then the, could they stay? Nah, he says no Zionists. The hold on a second. Wait, wait. There's a difference. Oh, though. No, there isn't. But <laughs> hold on. Between Zionists and Jews. No. Yeah, well, there's a difference in the concepts. But I'm saying yeah. everyone thinks they're a Zionist. It doesn't mean the same thing it means to you. Hold on. So who can stay once they take power? <laughs> no Jews. And you would like to smile and move on. Not one Jew. Not one Jew, even the ones who were here before 1948. <laughs> what? Yeah, even before. Okay. That's it. So what I don't want to be your friend on Facebook. So what should I do? <laughs> Speak to the hand. So what should I do? <laughs> so what should we do? What should Roy do? Where is he going to go? He's not Canadian. No one will let me in any other place. Tell him my grandparents were in Iraq, and the Muslim people killed the Muslim people. The Muslim people killed them in Iraq in 1940, and they ran to here. And I don't have anywhere to go. أبول يهود طيب عيد تسد تزيد بقى في العراق المسلمين كتل كتل على التهم هم شردوا. مسلمين؟ أنا I don't have any right to go. أنا جاي تسد منا. شو أستاذ؟ يسد منا. لا يا زلمة الله يقطعك يعني هو بقول لك ليش هو جاي سارد من حرب هنا. طب خليك شارد. إيش فينا؟ إيش سلام سلام. He said he could have ran anywhere else. Now no one will take me. He said everybody go back to where their origin is from. <laughs> Can you name 10 Jewish people that have two generations that have been here? Yeah, most Jewish people two I generations. know. More like than a lot. Yeah, yeah, Many. yeah. Like you guys literally, Many. you have no tradition, you have no culture. It's sad, honestly. That's, that's, like, not, that's what you see. First, like, no, 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 but that's the, that's the, oh, hold on, I'll stop this because there's no. If there, if Palestinians take over all of 48 Palestine, they take back everything. What happens to the Israelis? What happens to the Jews? They'll be like the Palestinians that are right here right now. What do you mean? In, there'll be an occupation? Yeah. Yeah, you think? 
No, they won't be is that what you want or that's what you think will happen? Well, they won't be an occupation because that would be somebody from the outside coming in and taking over them. But it would be us reclaiming what's ours. Okay. So they would be our guests. Okay. So Do you think they would, they would be equal? By the Palestinian law. Okay. Do you think they would be equal? Would they be equal? Uh, they wouldn't be equal, no, but they would probably be given equal rights. Okay, so what's the difference? To be equal is like saying, are the Native Americans equal to the immigrants that come into the United States? That's the same thing. So the Palestinians are like the Native Americans, okay. and the Israelis now are what the others that come into the United States. Okay. Or like everybody that came in on the Mayflower. That's how they would be. Okay, oh, the Israelis are like... Well, that's what like they are. The, the Europeans. That's what they are, yeah. Okay, even though they were here before. Who was here before? The Israelis. Where? Here. They weren't here before. Of course they were. No. Jews were here before. No, they were Well, Jews, yeah, but not the Israelis. What's the difference? There was no Israel. It doesn't matter. It's the same. They're still the same people. Uh, there's a big difference. Why? Because Israel was... Uh, when was Israel uh, established? No, that's a, that's a country. So, yeah. So, okay, there was also no uh, France, but, but see, it's you know, 300 years ago. There's still French people. Right, but, okay, so that goes back to Zionism. Okay. Jews were here before. Zionism didn't exist. They lived uh, happily amongst the Christians and Muslims, too. Okay. And there were Jewish Palestinians. There were Christian, like there are Jewish Palestinians, uh, Christian Palestinians, and Muslim Palestinians. So Zionism came in, and it just made them think with their Zionist ideology, thinking that they're better than everybody else. And they used Judaism as an excuse to justify all the atrocities that they committed against the Palestinians. A lot of it is forgotten right now because time passed by and people just decided to overlook it. That's what you think happened? I, I, that's what I know happened. Because there are still a lot how do you, of... How do you know that? Because you're saying what Jews think. Because you have Palestinians that live in Lebanon and in Jordan and in refugee camps all over the world. And where did they come from? They, did it, they didn't just pop up out of nowhere. They had homes, they had towns, they, had, they existed in what was known as Palestine. Okay. And then they were... No, 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 I'm talking about that Zionism says Jews are better. And how did you phrase it? Uh, well, it's, Zionism is racism. And they look at Zionists. You could be, as long as you're a Zionist, you could be from Poland to Russia. You're welcome to, to come into what they call now Israel. Mm -hmm. And you could have everything you want. You get an apartment. You get uh, all the stuff that you could get in any modern world like the United States or in Europe, I'm assuming. Uh, but you could be born here, be a Palestinian, and you are not, uh, you don't get any kind of right. You could be killed and nobody's whoever killed you isn't going to be held accountable like what happened in this village over here not so long in Kusra a whole family was burned alive the father the wife here. and one of the children one was still recovering right now yeah. what happened to the guy that did it they haven't caught him yet they did no, they, they caught one of them they, they gave him a 30 day probation no it's not what happened it doesn't matter that's what the news said no it's, it was, he was, that was a guy was taken into said. into custody for six months but there's no proof that he did it yet that's what they want to say, of course. It's uh, oh. how hard could it be when you have a few, uh, well, actually more than a few, uh, radicals that are known in that area to do this kind of stuff. Okay. They could catch them if okay. they wanted to. So getting back to, uh, so the Jews would stay if all of it becomes Palestine again. Wow. The Jews would stay? Yeah, they could stay. Okay. So they just wouldn't be thought of as native. Well, they could stay. You know, it, it, it doesn't really matter whether they're native or not. Like, you go to California. I live in California. Uh, I wasn't born in California, but I'm an American citizen. I get the right like any other uh, American citizen gets. Okay. And they would have to, there would have to be a law that would be equal to everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, whether that law is going to be, the next question would be, who's going to enforce that law? Mm -hmm. The current Palestinians? I think that's very hard for them to implement that kind of law. Why? Because you can look, look at the laws implemented right now. There's a lot of corruption going on. Mm. Just mm. like there's corruption in other places, in other entities, in other governments. Mm. I mean, it's ideal, but now is not the right time. Okay. But I think. Okay. But is that the goal? The goal right now, I think, is for peace to, for peace to exist. 
mm -hmm. to stop the killing and then start step by step. Okay. The only problem is that it takes too long. It's taking too long. And a lot of Palestinians are killed in the process. <laughs> Because it's my land and it's my it's my ancestor's land. How can I give it to, to someone else? Okay, so if if he takes back Palestine in 1948, what happens to the Israelis? <laughs> okay, if if the Palestinian Arabs in 1948 should be safe for the Israelis, yeah, they can leave. Where are they going to go? Where can they go? Where they came from. What about people who are mixed and they're from all different places? Whoever found it, the problem should find the solution. It's not my responsibility. Palestine, it's my land. أول سؤال أو إحنا نحسب بس سؤال واحد إذا الفلسطينيين استردوا كل فلسطين شو رح يصير في الستة مليون إسرائيلي أو يهودي؟ إن شاء الله ما كان ما أجوا منه. على سطح شوي. يعني بيرجع ولا ما تروح اللي أجوا منه. They will go back to where they came from. What about for one who is a quarter Polish, half Yemenite, and a quarter Iraqi? والمخلصين مثلا اللي اللي اصله بولندي ويمني وعراقي مع بعض وين يروح؟ نو اللي از اول ميكست يا يا وات اف هيز ميكست بولش عراقي اند يمني؟ من مطرة يعني مسقط راسه منين اجى علينا هو بالنهاية هون مش ارضه هو كان انا عارف بالضبط هو راح يكون يرجع من المطرح اللي اجى فيه كان من العراق او من اليمن او بالنهاية هناك لسه موجودين يعني رايحين نرجع للمطرح اللي اجى منه هي هاز تو جو فروم فروم وير ايفر he came from originally, whether it was Iraq, Yemen, or he has to go back. Yes. What if, if his family was here before 1948? Well, in that in that term, in, well, then he would have the right to be a citizen in the Palestinian country, not the Israeli country. Um, when Palestinians get back Palestine of 1948, which is today Israel, what happens to the Israelis? Okay, so I'll go one. One or if? Either one, it's fine. Isa or Lama, if we need the destruction of Palestine of 1948, should we see it in the Israeli? The Israeli will be destroyed because Palestine is not the right place. For sure, the Israelis will be destroyed because Palestine is not their right. Destroyed as in killed? Uh, they should be killed, yes. They should be killed, yes. Because what was taken by force can only be retrieved by force. Taken back by force. Because Israel is a very powerful tyrant and I'm sure that God will for sure God will, will destroy them. Um, if Palestinians get back all of Palestine, what happens with the, all the Jews? مش عارف كم مليون فلسطين في عام 48 بيصير بدي فيو مليون فلسطينيين زي ما احنا Okay, even the ones who were there before 1948? And their descendants? مش كان في يهود قبل 48 هون في فلسطين؟ كان في انا حزب من الطائفه السامريه As to my knowledge, there were the Samarites Samaritans Samaritans No, but there were also Jews here There were 600,000 Jews كان في تقريبا 600,000 يهودي ما بعرف هاي المعلومه I don't know about this بعرف انه اليهود بلشوا يجوا في التدرج مجموعات بعدين اجوا مره واحده came in groups and then they came all at once. First they came gradually and then they came all at once. Okay. Come on, so I'll leave you with the Palestinian. Uh, I have a 
كل فلسطين وترجعوها كلياتها شو بصير في الستة مليون يهودي؟ ستة مليون يهودي هنا اصلا كل واحد يرجع لبلده لانه هنا اصلا جايين من عدة بلدان Okay. What about the ones who were here before 1948? We have no, we didn't have any problems with those who lived here before the 1948. Okay, and if most Israelis today have at least one relative from before 1948, can they stay? <laughs> We as Palestinians agreed that we would uh, we would have the 1967 borders and the Israelis didn't agree to this. The, the Israeli government is still building settlements on the lands that they claim they gave back to the Palestinians. Okay, but you didn't really he didn't answer the question. But which Israelis can stay? Okay, manaha anum Israeliyin aw aw anum Yehud bisir yidallu. Ida ihna istajana kul Palestine. The first ones that were here before the 1948, we have no problem because we have the Christians, we have the Samaritans, we have the Samarites, and we have the Muslims. Samaritans. And if and even those who are were born here in 1950. If we would go back to the original numbers of the of the Jews, mm -hmm. we would find that they were a, mon a minority originally. The majority who are here have come from abroad. Whatever happens to them happens, we don't care. But can they live here? Yes, we are living. We would think about it. Okay, so younger woman said she'll think about it. Older woman said, she, did she ever have a Jewish neighbor or no? No, no, no. We never had So my sister used to live somewhere uh, in Nablus and she had a Jewish neighbor. And they used to visit each other and they used to be friends. And they would, and they would also share food together. Oh, nice. <laughs> and they were living safely. Where was this? When can? Shara. Shara Akshika Ras Al Ayan. Shara Akshika Ras Al Ayan. Ras Al Ayan. That's in Nablus. Nablus? Nablus. Nablus. So she was she was married to a she was married to a Palestinian, obviously. Kat Mizoja. Kat Mizoja Palestinian. Palestinian. Yeah. The question is, if if the Palestinians, if the people of Palestine come to the Palestine in 1948, what will happen to the Israelis? They're not supposed to be here in the first place. So where do, what happens to them? They should, they should go back to wherever they came from. They're originally uh, immigrants and they should immigrate back to their original countries. But what if they're mixed? Perhaps something more political and, and something bigger than me, I'm not sure. We used to be mixed before and everything was going fine, but everyone should know what's, what's theirs. The land is ours and they are our guests, then okay.